All right, guys, time for your mindset principle and the preview for the upcoming week's workout. First of all, I want to say I'm proud of some of you that have stayed somewhat consistent during these holidays, okay? You know what we're coming into next. we got to stay consistent. You don't want to be one of those people that puts on five to eight pounds during the holiday, during the holidays, okay? And the only way you're going to do that is if you stop coming in here and obviously if you just totally blow it on your nutrition, okay? So let's get focused. we got a little bit more holidays to go through. Doesn't mean you have to slack off coming in here. Stay consistent. Remember your goals. Maybe uh, reassess where you are and what you want out of your fitness program and get really excited about the year to come because we know New Year's comes and everybody has those New Year's resolutions. But get a jump start on it now so that when it comes, you'll be prepared to really lock in a really great new year. Okay, come on in with a great attitude. We got a great workout for you this week. All right, on your first station, you're getting into a plank. You got your forearm on the step, so you're up a little higher because you're gonna do a one-arm pull with the other arm. Notice her feet are wide for a good, strong base. Notice she's not turning her hips or her shoulders. She's staying in that good plank position. Don't worry about trying to go too heavy on this one. You're trying to really work your core and your hips and your low back more than working your uh, large muscles in your back, okay? All right, second station, you're on the stability ball. There's two ways you can do this. Holly's doing it the most intense way with her heels dug in, hips up high. You're just going to hold it for the whole 30 seconds. Now notice her arms are out for support and to give her that a wide base so that she doesn't roll off the ball. If this is too difficult for you, just go to this modification. Straight legs, hips up, lock it in. Core is tight, glutes are tight, working those hamstrings. Right, on the core trainer, you're going to grab both core trainers. Notice her feet are close together. She's going to work those quads a little bit more. And she's squatting down, hips are dropping down, hands are going past her knees, good flat back, core is tight, pushing through the whole foot, so feet are flat and they're close together, okay? Just rep these out and then you'll alternate this one with a little core upper body move. Like, see how she's got her hips low. Her hands are kind of high, about shoulder high to start. And then she's just leaning into it and holding it the whole 30 seconds. Getting a lot of work in her tries, her core, shoulders, back, hips. All right, on the wall, she's going to do a little chest press. Notice she's going from uh, elbows up high and wide and then down and together, okay? So you're pressing and bringing your hands together. This is a no rest station with one caveat. You're going to... When you feel that muscle exhaustion and the lactic acid build up where you can barely do it anymore, take a quick break, shake it off, and then jump back in it. I wouldn't even take my hands out of the handles. Just shake it off a little bit, okay? And jump back in it. Maybe only about five to eight second break and just keep going. All right, on the bags, the last station, she's in a squat position, sitting into it. Feet are flat. Notice her, uh, she's got her heels on the ground. Shoulders are back. She's got a couple, a pair of dumbbells right on her hips. She's just holding it. So we got a lot of isometric holds in this week's workout. Okay. Now you can use kettlebells or dumbbells. It doesn't matter. As long as you put them on your hips and you just hold it for the whole 30 seconds.